Hey y'all, G Productions here, and in today's video, we are going to go over the brand new Monster High Reproduction Dolls. Now, we don't really know where these dolls will be sold at or how much they are. Once I know more information, I will put it in my comment section. But let's get on with the first doll and we can start talking. So up first is we have this Draculaura. And I think this one is the most interesting because if you can see, she does not have her ponytails. Like she doesn't have the two ponytails that she originally had. And you can see with these boxes is that they do not look like their original 2010 boxes. But... About everything else about this doll looks extremely accurate to the original. I don't know if she actually has her necklace or not, but these look incredibly detailed. Like, so new in box that I'm shook and I'm gagged and I'm shook and I'm cooped. Like, if you didn't get the 2010 uh, releases of these, I think these are going to be the best option. So the next school we have to talk about is the lovely Frankie Stein. Now, I'm so excited for this Frankie. Like, I will definitely be picking up all four of these um, because I need a new First Wave Laguna because I don't have one. And I just want to get the reproductions because my old ones don't look that good. So I would like to have them all displayed. But, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited that these dolls are coming back and that they are this detailed. I don't know how much they're going to be going for, but I'm super excited. So, the next doll that we have up is Laguna Blue. Now, this is the doll that I will be picking up first because I need a first wave Laguna. And I really want this doll. I hope she's not as rare as, like, Lagunas were in the past because I definitely will be getting this doll. And I'm glad that they're doing these reproduction dolls because it was kind of and not, like, cheaping it out on them. I think they are going to be higher price, which I am kind of bummed about. But I'm super excited, and it's kind of like um, Bratz doing their original wave. So I hope with, like, Bratz, they also do other reproduction lines, like Dawn of the Dance, Draculaura would be an amazing one. Not saying anything, Monster High, but Dawn of the Dance, Draculaura would be amazing. I'm just being... Or Gloom and Bloom. Ooh, that'd be a fun line to reproduce. Um, I think Donna the Dance dolls would be incredible and get Draculaura by herself in her Donna the Dance look. Come on, Mattel! <laughs> so, of the last of the reproduction dolls that we will be looking at today is this Claudine Wolf. Now, I feel like I don't really have much thoughts on these dolls because they look so incredibly like their 2010 counterparts. So I'm just like, well, what do I talk about? They look incredible and I'll be getting all of them. Like, but I am kind of sad that we are not getting like characters like Holt Hyde, uh, Ghoulia Yelps, uh, Cleo and Deuce. Like, an original Cleo without Deuce in her box would be absolutely incredible. Mattel, you need to make these immediately. But I'm so excited that these look like their original counterparts and not like the 2015 reproductions of them because those did not look good. And I'm glad that they're actually looking incredible like this. So let's get to the outro. So my final thoughts on these dolls are, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I'm so happy they reproduced these beautiful 2010 dolls that I love so freaking much. And I'm so excited if I can add these to my collection. I'll be definitely getting all four once they're publicly released. And you can promise me that. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to comment down below who your favorite reproduction is, and I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye now.